Alright, what is going on YouTube? Foxy Cooper coming to you guys with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some things as far as Call of Duty Modern Warfare goes, and Season 2. Also, there's going to be a tactical nuke gameplay at the end of this video. It's on Rust, so if you guys want to just skip to that and watch that, you guys can. I'll leave the timestamp right here on the screen. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado... Let's go, bros. We have a brand new gun, or actually two new guns coming into season two. And I just got blown up by a car and a rocket launcher. That's awesome. I'm a little mixed on how I feel about both of those things coming back. But as long as the Rust remake is literally like a just scale for scale remake of it without doors, but we all know it's going to have doors. I know exactly where they're going to put the doors too, so that, that kind of sucks. Alrighty, so we got the MP5 here, and I'm only using it because I just got a gold and because the UMP is actually coming into this game. Figured we would uh, use an SMG because one of the most iconic SMGs in Call of Duty history is coming to Modern Warfare in Season 2. The UMP-45, also known as the Striker-45, or I guess that's what it's going to be called in this game, but the Call of Duty website leaked the UMP yesterday. Also on uh, like one of our cards that we got back in, uh, back in August for the Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal. It revealed that Season 2 is going to have Rust in the game, which is freaking sweet. I'm excited for Rust, but but I will say, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little, I guess not disappointed, but I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious about why we always have the same weapons coming back in each game. In Infinite Warfare, we had the UMP, and then we also had Rust come back. Now, obviously, Infinite Warfare is a completely different game than Modern Warfare. I just feel like we should have different weapons. I understand, like, those weapons are super iconic. There's really no weapons that can replace them as far as, like, how iconic they are because Modern Warfare 2 is regarded as, like, one of the best Call of Duty games ever. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best Call of Duty game ever. Right next to Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. It's my favorite Call of Duty, so I am a little biased. So speaking of Modern Warfare 2, that's what the theme seems to be for, I guess, Modern Warfare Season 2. It seems to be a Modern Warfare 2 theme, very similar to how uh, the Season 1 was Call of Duty 4 theme. The reason I'm saying it's a Modern Warfare 2 theme is because we also got confirmation that Ghost is returning. And he's going to be an operator in this game. Now, he doesn't look like Ghost from Modern Warfare 2, which I'm a little salty about. I'm kind of upset about that, but it's not that bad. It could be worse, but I think that they're uh, using the uh, the mask as a way to sell cosmetics in a way. That's gonna be my interpretation of how Ghost looks. He doesn't look bad. He looks like a badass and like everything, but I, I still think he looks better in Modern Warfare 2. Maybe that's nostalgia, but I just don't like how the mask is. Why am I lagging? So what the hell is that? There's also a tactical nuke gameplay at the end of this video. So if you guys want to go watch that, I dropped a tactical nuke on Rust. This was a while ago, but I figured I would just throw it in there in this video because, I mean, it's a tactical nuke on Rust. Like, you know, why wouldn't I throw that in here? Use code FOXY for 30% off all G Fuel products and the brand new G Fuel Condit Shaker. It's fabulous! And, and it helps me out as a content creator. Okay, bye! Also, don't forget to use- what the fuck? Use code FOXY to get non-laggy lobbies. 30% off right now on laggy lobbies. No, but seriously, if you guys want to use code FOXY at gfield.com, it's 30% off right now until uh, February 11th. I almost said December. Now, we're getting a bunch of new battle pass items as well. We're getting a brand new battle pass. We're getting a bunch of new stuff, a couple new weapons, and apparently... We're getting a ground war map that has scrapyard in it. So you guys know how there's a ground war map that has vacant in it, right? Apparently, we're getting the same thing, but it's going to be, but it's going to have scrapyard in it instead, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not really a big fan of that ground war map, to be honest, but I think it's cool how they implement other maps into that ground war map. You know, I think that's pretty cool. I'm very curious as to if if because I'm very curious if they're gonna bring the fall camo back because if this is Modern Warfare 2 themed and they're bringing camos and blueprints and stuff like that in, I would love for them to bring back fall camo from MW2. That would be really really cool to me. It'd be very nostalgic, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We're also getting a brand new assault rifle now. I was really hoping that we would see Terminal and the ACR come back, but I don't really know if that's gonna happen. So I guess we'll just have to do with the UMP. I understand. Don't want to bring back like a fan favorite ACR. I I get it. I really want them to bring back Terminal though. I think Terminal would play pretty well in this game for the most part. I mean like obviously the doors and things like that would make a big difference. Wow. 
Wow. Definitely didn't think I was going to get that kill. And he definitely anticipated me coming around that corner. I don't know how, but it is what it is. I guess, I guess that's going to be it. Like I said, Ghost is going to be a new operator. He's probably going to be a bunch of new skins, a bunch of new blueprints and things like that. I'm trying to think of like what else that there is that I didn't name already. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for, uh, as far as like all the stuff that was leaked. Like I said, there's a new assault rifle. I, I can't remember what it's called. It just, it's the, it says that it's like a compact assault rifle that you can have really nice mobility with or move around with. There's the UMP. Rust is coming back. And, uh, yeah, so speaking of Rust, here's a tactical nuke on Rust, uh, from Modern Warfare 2 to carry out the video. It's from a while ago. It's from a stream, I think, from, like, last year. I think of, like, in May. May of last year. I figured I would throw that in just because, like, we are talking about Rust and the UMP and and all this Modern Warfare 2 stuff. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Code Foxy is 30% off at gfield.com right now if you guys want to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. What do you think of the new teaser? I personally, I think that the teaser sounds like the beginning of No Russian. I think that as you hear, you can hear kind of like clackles and like clicks and kind of like an ammo pack and things like that. I think you can hear a lot of that. And, um, obviously someone's in trouble because they're like, uh, I need help or something like that. Help, I fall and I can't get up. But, um, you know. I suck with that some in this game. Harrier could do some work if y'all. Dude, we're in fucking rust. Here we go. Might be it, boys. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Deck nuke incoming on Rust. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's get it, baby. Oh, my Lord. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's go. Let me get some GGs in the chat. <laughs> Let's go. Oxy, I think I created something that is disturbing. And I got that recorded. Let's fucking go, man. Yo, Zayden, appreciate the 25 bits, homie.